Here is an explanation for the sleep medication Suvoroxant. So let's start with an overview. So a famous trade name for the Suvoroxant medication is Balzomra, and it was first synthesized in 2006. And Suvoroxant is an oroxin receptor antagonist that is used in treatment of insomnia. Now a question comes to your mind, what is oroxin and how it is related to sleep? Now oroxin is a peptide and there is two types of this peptide that are available in the brain. So there is oroxin 1 and oroxin 2 that are available in some neurons in the hypothalamus in the brain. And their function is to promote wakefulness. So they keep the body awake. Now how oroxin work to keep the body awake? So that is because when there is higher level of oroxin, those neurons in the hypothalamus get activated to keep the body awake. But when their levels falls, then this lead to sleep. So during the day, the oroxin levels are higher to keep the body awake, but the opposite happen during the night when the oroxin levels falls to make the body sleep. We mentioned before that the suvoroxant is an oroxin receptor antagonist, so it works by antagonizing oroxin so the body gets to sleep. So the idea of suvoroxant is to manipulate the oroxin to antagonize it to make the body go to sleep. And the suvoroxant work by antagonizing both of the oroxin peptides receptors. So the one and two oroxin peptides receptors will be blocked by this medication. The suvoroxant is FDA approved for treatment of sleep onset and sleep maintenance insomnia. So it is approved for treatment of people who can't initiate sleep and for treatment of people who can't maintain sleep. Now regarding the adverse effects of the suvoroxant, so the most annoying one is next day somnolence, which is similar to narcolepsy. Now somnolence means that the person who takes this medication becomes sleepy the next day. And that is similar to narcolepsy because narcolepsy is a disease that is characterized by the loss of the oroxin neurons leading to daytime sleepiness. And when antagonizing the oroxin by the suvoroxin, this will lead to similar effects that happen in narcolepsy. Suvoroxant also may lead to headache, dizziness, abnormal dreams, and it may also lead to dry mouth. Rare adverse effects of the suvoroxant include sleep paralysis, hallucinations, complex sleep behaviors, and suicidal ideation. And it is very important to mention that the tolerance and dependence doesn't occur with the suvoroxant. And in comparison with the other sleep medications that are available, like the benzodiazepines, the benzodiazepines lead to tolerance and dependence, while the suvoroxant does not. Moving on to contraindications, the suvoroxant is contraindicated in people with narcolepsy because it aggravates this condition. Finally, regarding the pharmacokinetics of the suvoroxant, so it is available as oral formula only, and the absorption is good with bioavailability of 82%, and it is metabolized by the cytochrome B450 enzyme system in the liver, specifically the CYP3A4, and it is liable to be affected by the CYP-A4 inducers 
and inhibitors. Meaning, if the person taking Suvaroxin also taking another medication that is inducer of the CYP3A4, this will lead to lesser levels of the Suvaroxin in the person's blood. And the opposite happens if the person is taking Suvaroxin with a CYP3A4 inhibitor, meaning there will be higher levels of the Suvaroxin in the person's blood. Regarding elimination, Suvaroxin is 60% eliminated through bile and 40% eliminated in urine. And the half-life is around 12 hours. And with that, we reach the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Show your support by liking this video and commenting your ideas and questions. And please check out my CNS Pharmacology Masterclass. I explain all the medications that affect the central nervous system in this class and it will appear right now on your screen. And also, I have a lot of pharmacology content that you can check out by clicking on my channel.